Chris Brown here, Casey Guy 2. Today I want to talk uh, about two things. How to check for gasoline and diesel if you're not sure if it's been contaminated, and I want to talk about Flashpoint. Uh, so, today we're working on a, it was a 2006 Ford diesel 6.0 liter, and the customer came in with a full tank of fuel, no, no run condition. So my first question was, you didn't put gasoline in this, right? By mistake, he said no, but I pop the gas cap off and I, I smell a hint of gasoline. So uh, I have a sample here of that right here. Um, so we're going to do a few things. We got some regular gasoline here, and then we also have some 90% alcohol right here. Uh, let's talk, uh, and then we also have some regular diesel number two. Let's talk about flash points uh, of these. Uh, first of all, what is flash point? Flash point is the temperature at which an organic compound will create enough vapor to ignite or light on fire without any wicks or any other uh, means of, of, of burning. So anyway, uh, diesel, that number varies, but uh, number two diesel should be around 126 degrees Fahrenheit or above, typically. Gasoline is very volatile. It's negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and then obviously the diesel combo of gasoline, we don't know. It's somewhere in the middle there or somewhere in that range, depending on how much gasoline it has. And then uh, alcohol here, 90%, is around 54 degrees. So uh, <clears throat> let's talk about this real quick. Uh, one other quick way to check is keep it covered. Uh, by the way, to do this, you're gonna need a few things. Good idea to wear safety glasses, probably be outside is a great idea, where uh, you know you won't light yourself on fire, burn down your house, and deal with small quantities of fuel. Uh, so if something does get out of control, it's not that crazy. You're gonna need temperature, your, uh, your flame, uh, steel containers, and then something to you know, cover it once it does light on fire. Uh, anyway, probably some other stuff I'll forget too, but whatever the case, this is the basics. So one, one way I found works pretty well to check, uh, if you keep this, supposedly we think it's gasoline diesel mixture covered up here, and you let it sit for a little bit, technically the uh, gasoline should evaporate out of there, and if we do open it up, do a quick sweep with the torch, if we get a quick flame and it goes out, that tells you there's more than likely some gasoline or something other than diesel in that fuel. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and see see if that uh, does does anything. We'll take this off. So you see that? Now that tells me right off the rip is definitely something other than diesel in this fuel that came out of this truck. So this customer swears he didn't put diesel in it uh, or put gasoline in it, uh, but you know obviously he's got something else going on there. So, but if we do it again, bring that camera back over here, obviously I'm touching the fuel. It's not lighting, so there's a little bit of something in there. So, uh, <clears throat> at this point in the video, I'm sorry I'm dragging this on, but we're, I'm kind of doing this as a, a nice little test. So we, you know, uh, like I said, we're talking about Flashpoint and the fuel and the diesel. So we've got some alcohol that I just took out of the refrigerator here. And uh, now remember, the Flashpoint of this alcohol should be around 54 degrees. So let's look at the temperature here. We're at... Uh, Let's call it like 43, 44, 43, because that'll take a little bit to catch up. Now, technically, obviously, move your fuels out of the way here. You know, cap back on the alcohol. Safety first, right? <clears throat> and uh, let's see if this lights. So, uh, it's not lighting on fire. So, uh, you saw that. Now, you, when you do this sweep, you, you only want the flame to just barely touch the fuel. You don't want to heat the fuel on the top, otherwise it's going to create enough vapor to uh, ignite. Uh, so let's go ahead and heat this up a little bit, past 54, and, and you can see. Now when you're heating this up, be very careful. You don't want to hold the torch under there for too long. Um, heat it up just a little bit. Let's see where that's at now. Stir it up. And we are at... Well, they heat it up quick. Look at that. So we're, we're well above what we need to be. Uh, let's let that settle. All right, uh, well, we let that alcohol cool down a little bit, back down around 54. We're going to do gasoline. Now, gasoline's flash point is negative 45 degrees, a very volatile substance, as you all know already. So let's do this anyway. We're going to pop this cap off, blow away any vapors that would have been there, and let's do a quick sweep. Boom. So obviously, that's going to light up and burn very nicely. Make sure not to spill that when it's on fire. Let's go back to our alcohol, though, and see if that's... Uh, Right where we need it to be. Remember, this was what was not lighting uh, below, and now we're at all right. So we're at 63. Let's see, let's see what it does now. Remember, it didn't light before when it was in the 40s. So let's uh, have cover ready. 
and boom. So a little, little touch of the flame and that lights up. All right, so bring the camera in. We're at 91 degrees here now. Now this should not light if it's diesel, so let's see. That we're cover ready. Boom, and then now, uh, so this is burning at 90 degrees and that means we definitely have contaminants in it for sure, so. Now I've poured some number two diesel in a cup here uh, with no contaminants known. We're at 65 degrees, 66. Uh, I also had this covered, so let's see if we get any kind of flash or any ignition at all. We get nothing. I can hold the flame on there, nothing. So now let's let's heat this up to about, let's try to get it to 90 where we were before. Let's see, see if it uh, ignites. And we're just doing this for verification, uh, kind of just for a little video here. So we're at... Just past 90, 90, 98 we'll call it. Let's see if that lights. Nothing, no light at all. So that's, that's good. That means this is, uh, this test is looking good. Let's try to get it up to 126 and see if it ignites at that temperature. And, uh, if you see any flames uh, or, or vapors coming from the side, try to blow those off because that can vary your test. So we're at 130 now, just above 126. Let's see if this lights with a small touch of the flame. All right, so it took a little bit, but now you can see with a touch, it does light up and burn. So this diesel's uh, ignition point is just above 130, which is uh, not ignition point, but flash point. Anyway, so I hope uh, you got some useful information out of that. Sorry if I jumped around. It took a long time. Uh, hopefully you learned how to check for gasoline in a quick way in your diesel if, if uh, you know, somebody's not sure or you're not sure for that matter. And uh, as everybody knows, gasoline and a diesel can spell major disaster. Obviously, the two have very different flash points and that can destroy an engine, not to mention uh, the, the lubricus, lubricity the loom property properties of it uh, very different anyway KZ guy thanks for watching give me a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, you know what that's it have a good day